Okay, hello friends. So today and from today onwards, you'll be starting some basic terminologies pertaining to environment and ecology. So we'll be discussing around 150 basic terms which are very much in the news and which form the basis of environment and ecology. And these 150 basic terminologies can be used as an example in your GS papers and as well as some certain case studies can be made out of them. So if you look at the first terminology which we are having today, it is invasive alien species. So we almost all have learned about these things and what they do many times in newspapers and magazines but we'll look what actually their nature is and what they do with respect to the environment and what are their harmful consequences. So if you talk about alien invasive species they have two characteristics. First they are non-native. They are non-native to the place in which they are residing right now and second they spread they spread and they interfere and they interfere with with the native species native species and species can be flora and fauna so this is what these in alien invasive species are at the basic level but how these alien invasive species come to a certain place that is arrival so their arrival to a particular place depends upon two factors and these two factors are first one is natural they can be transferred from one place to another via natural processes and other is anthropogenic anthropogenic means human related that is human related so natural can be due to floods can be due to oceanic currents can be due to winds and so on and so forth however if we talk about human causes human causes can be two types that is consciously that is humans bringing certain species of flora and fauna consciously and non consciously so when we bring certain kind of species consciously maybe due to some aesthetic value which we need to derive from them or maybe due to some economic significance we need to acquire from them we do it consciously and sometimes unconsciously also example some tourists are coming from certain country to a different country so they might bring with them certain kind of microbes and diseases due to the weak quarantine regimes of the destination countries so this is how these alien invasive species spread from their source region to a native to a different place so if you look at what they actually do if you talk about the impact so impact can be analyzed by this graphical representation as so impact if you talk about if you make a graph like this and on our y-axis we have population levels these are population levels and on our x-axis we have environmental factors so this is the general trend of our graphical pattern and this is how a graph can be made to understand the impact of alien species so if we talk about this is an area of optimum population what we say optimum population or optimum habitat for that flora and fauna now let's suppose what happens is now alien invasive species shown in red color let's suppose they have come maybe due to natural reasons or anthropogenic reasons they have come to this place okay, where they are non-native what they will do is they will due to their two characteristics maybe more competitive nature 
मे बी ड्यू टू मोर कॉम्पिटेटिव नेचर और मे बी ड्यू टू देर सुपीरियर सर्वाइवल टेक्टिक्स दे वॉट दे डू दे विल इन्वेड दैट नेटिव एरिया एंड विल साइड ट्रैक दीज नेटिव स्पीसीज सो नेटिव स्पीसीज विल बी साइड ट्रैक सो लेट सपोज दे वर अराउंड हंड्रेड नेटिव स्पीसीज ऑफ दिस काइंड नाउ दीज नेटिव स्पीसीज है बीन साइड ट्रैक्ड बाय दीज एलियन इन्वेसिव स्पीसीज सो इफ वी सी दीज आर लोकेशन ऑफ हाई स्ट्रेस हाई स्ट्रेस एंड सून वॉट विल हैपन इज सून दीज नेटिव स्पीसीज दिस वॉज आवर नेटिव स्पीसीज विल बी वाइब्ड आउट एंड इफ दे विल वाइब्ड आउट वॉट विल हैपन इज it will disrupt what it will do is it will disrupt mind here it will disrupt the homeo static balance homeostatic balance of the ecosystem homeostatic balance of the ecosystem and what is homeostatic balance of the ecosystem is it is actually maintaining a equilibrium of native flora and fauna so this is how our ecosystem can be maintained if there is homeostatic balance in the ecosystem but what these alien invasive species do is they disrupt such kind of balance and they lead to unstable or instability in that region now if you talk about the good examples of such kind of phenomena there are certain examples example certain species they what do is they secrete what they do is they secrete what they secrete resin like substances resin like substances and these resins like substances are sometimes acidic in nature what is they are acidic in nature and since they are acidic in nature they inhibit what they do they control or stop or inhibit the plant growth so this can be one way in which they disrupt the local homeostatic balance second point is there are certain examples example there is one invasive species called lantana i should write this in red this is lantana lantana camera so this was a species which came from south america to india okay so what it did was now suppose there is a piece of land this is a piece of land this invasive species has its growth in the form of mat like formation so it forms a mat like formation like this this mat like formation so what this mat like formation do is it inhibits and it emits the growth of edible plants it inhibits the growth of edible plants and now if it will inhibit the growth of edible plants what will be the scenario is the herbivore the herbivores which go to feed on them will be getting less edible plants now because already that mat like formation has covered the entire place and it is restricting the growth of those edible plant species so these herbi will be will be getting less plant or less nutrition and therefore they will be having a decline in population and if they have will be having a decline in population what will happen the carnivores sitting over them will also register a decline in their population and a good example can be in the form of let's suppose this is a population pyramid we can say so it is found that if there is one healthy tiger existing in an ecosystem it usually feeds on or it usually hunts around around 500 deer in an year like 52 weeks so it hunts around 500 deer in a year and suppose at the base lies our edible 
plant species so what these lantana camera do they will reduce this in turn these numbers will be reduced and therefore we will register a decline in the population of tigers so this is how the declining trend of the tiger population can be explained by this phenomena of alien invasive species other examples if you talk about we have so many examples like there is one very good invasive species which has of course certain harmful impacts that is prosopis juliifora so what this flora invasive species do is it's a tree kind of thing so this tree was imported to india theek hai to share or to satisfy the domestic the domestic fuel requirements so this was imported to india but soon it was found that these species have harmful impact on the local ecology this can be seen in a very good example example the birds living in that area where these trees have been planted what these birds are doing is this tree what this tree do is this tree attracts the birds to nest to nest over them they are attractive towards or for those birds and therefore birds attracts towards these trees and lay their eggs but soon it was found that their branches are very unstable and are not good for nesting as a result of which these eggs usually fall and they die as a result of which the places where such kind of trees were there it registered a decline a decline in bird population so bird population declined in such areas other examples which you can see in your neighborhood as well these are eucalyptus so eucalyptus as we all know were brought by britishers britishers brought them from australia so they were used in nilgiris first for tannin purposes but soon it was found that these eucalyptus trees are phreatophytes what they are phreato fights so what this fear to five means is ki suppose this is the ground level and if there is this eucalyptus tree their roots have a very deep penetration and sometimes they might reach to the ground water table so this is ground water level and sometimes they penetrate very deep as a result of which it was found that they extract they extract more of water and as a result of which water becomes less water becomes less for the native species which were growing in that area and so the government banned such usage of planting of eucalyptus trees in such kind of uh, settings of the environment and therefore they have been banned now from plantation in certain parts of the country so this was one thing so there were n number of things which were there another thing which went from asia to other place was that was chestnut blight chestnut blight phenomena so this chestnut blight was an invasive species which was brought from asia to north america and this was brought with unconscious human interaction and that was unconscious and what it did was in few years of its introduction in that new space what it did was it actually wiped out it actually wiped out wiped out the whole it actually wiped out the whole native whole native chestnut chest nut species of us and canada so so there are n number of examples which we can cite for alien invasive species these were some famous examples which we discussed today so this is how we will be completing basic terminologies pertaining to environment and ecology and
you can use these examples and you can use them as case studies while writing your answers, especially for geography answers and you're writing GS answers in environment and ecology. So I hope you like that lecture. If you want to get know about any other terminology which you are finding difficulty with, you can just write out in the comment. Thank you so much.